His lifestyle and misjudgments have cost him dear and money is needed. He stepped into the ring at the Queen Elizabeth Stadium in Nassau last night in a shape which suggests a failure to come to the fight in the fittest of conditions. Well, the man he faced, the Commonwealth champion Trevor Burbick, may not be the most imaginative of performers, but he had displayed his durability against the world champion Larry Holmes, being the only man to take him the full 15 rounds in a title fight. So, although most of us feel as we did with Joe Frazier a week or so ago that the fight should not happen, it did. And this was Ali's move just before the fight, attempting the self-confidence and the cheek that once made him the most famous man in the world. Yes, sir, this is the moment that myself and the world's waiting for, the moment of truth. Trevor Burby hasn't even arrived yet. Do you have any thoughts about that? Is that true? I hope he has been. I was frightened that something might happen. I figured he might break his leg or I might get bit by a dog or something like that because I'm just so anxious for this to come off. Well, in fact, Burbick has turned up okay and giving a little bit of aggravation. There's the famous face of all with the young children listening to referee Zach Clayton's final warm-up there. There it is. It's a chilly night, actually, in the stadium. So it's scheduled for 10 rounds. And you can see now that Ali has really the contours of a channel swimmer. 16 stone and 12 pounds. He was only 15 7 for that really humiliating fight 40 months ago against Larry Holmes. And really, let's hope he could never be that bad again. Burbick, 15 5. And a strong man, good chin. He fought Holmes Burbick. He's won two fights, including the vacant Commonwealth Championship, if that really means anything nowadays. Well, that's the old alley in a way there. The one two punch is going, but not with that same speed that we knew of the great man in the days when he was Cassius Clay. 21 years of pro, 26 championship fights. Not too bad opening round, really, for Ali. But it shows that Burbick also means business. And anybody a little bit cynical who maybe thought he came here just to go through the motions and be a good boy can think again. He's world number four by the World Boxing Council. And there it is, almost a tinker bell they have here. Angelo Dundee, the trainer, working again then with Ali. He didn't want to, but he said, well, at least I'm in there to protect the great man. He's such a fine human being. Round two. And the greatest now, only a few weeks away from his 40th birthday. We have to ask ourselves, come on, what's he really doing in the ring? And yet at the same time, you have to wish him all the luck in the world because he's been so great for the game. And at one time, he was the highest paid citizen in the entire USA. That's Ali of old. He did that when he was a young fighter. He always pulled the opposition on. And Zach Clayton 
rebuking him for it. And a charge to the crowd now. This, this man feeds off the public. He really craves for excitement, really. He tries to kind of insulate himself from all dangers in the ring. Well, there's the referee there, could, risking getting hit, it would seem. That's the pattern of the fight, surely, now. Burbick with the forward march the whole time, trying to ignore Ali's punches, and certainly has already ignored his reputation. Flexes have gone a bit because he measured that punch alley and still couldn't land with it. He used the left hand almost as a telegraph pole to keep Burbick's head straight and nothing happened. Ali trying to now Burbick with the right hand and almost does there. Well, there's some improvement, surely, of the alley, who really was humiliated by Larry Holmes. And in this fight, of course, the opposition's a lot different. So, coming up then to the end of the second. just about hear that bell all right corners out corners out four four corners out come on get out of there Brock. get out of there get that school out of there come on well the referee the toughest man in the stadium then yelling at the seconds to get out of the corners four round five and there's been a similar pattern now with Ali plodding away and Burbick piling up a lot of points, I think, just by throwing more punches and inevitably landing more. But every so often you just see the flash of the old Ali, the good punch, the left hook to the head. still relying mainly on the prodding left jab and that's about all it is you get the feeling that the young Ali would have skipped away now and started a shuffle or two but uh, the legs are certainly slowing up there was a bit of lead in those And really Burbick ignoring the spoiling tactics of Ali there to hang on on the ropes like that. Well, at the open range, Ali doesn't do so badly. Burbick, remember, 12 years younger than Ali and had only 23 fights, won 20 and drawn one. a lot better in the fifth when the match was made I had great doubts that he could knock Burbick over this is a durable ch kid I tell you he's uh, came up from the amateurs box in the Olympics takes a good shot good round here at the finish for Ali Okay. 
Ali well, can't dismiss the off his cares there. Dundee really laying into Ali. And same in Burbick's corner now. It's warmed up to a much better fight than we thought it was going to be anyway. So we're into round seven. And if the weariness showed in Ali at the start, it's worsening a bit as he goes along, obviously. Burbick just punching out his night's work, getting on with it, and I suspect keeps stealing the rounds, really. There's not much in them, but I would have thought that Burbick was just in front. seen a touch of clowning at all from Ali he promised he'd come in business like but it's Burbick who's doing the business at this point just listen to that referee really does not stop does he Ali used to be able to pull his head away from these punches and slip them so well. Now he's getting caught. Oh no, he's calling out to Burbick, you haven't hurt me. That's the touch of the old Ali. He did that with George Foreman, laid on the ropes and said, come on, punch away. But really, that's a dangerous, although it may be an admirable try in any great fighter. I suspect that Ali's not conning Burbick, he's really conning himself. We all seem to be willing Ali to do something, to throw the one punch that can get him off the hook and at least let him go out a winner. Three times champion of the world and they're more or less these dreams of immortality of trying to win it the fourth time, but really the days those are over, aren't they, with him? So round eight. And certainly Ali's corner people are under the impression that he's not losing this fight. He's pinched his share of points, there's no question about that. But all the nagging punches have been coming from Burbick, really. And this is a better Ali, but for how long? And the crowd rising to it. And the old familiar chance of Ali coming from a crowd who have never seen him in the flesh before. you but I'm beginning to feel every punch that Ali's having to take in there and you've seen this man at his greatest nothing less is acceptable well I tell you they've got a good chance of getting the grievous bodily harm of the years if this referee keeps shouting at him like that Totally uncompromising, Burbick gets on with the job and seems as though he's going to get the job done, doesn't it?
Well, the prize money for Ali is chicken feed by comparison with the old days, but he's still getting the equivalent of 500,000 pounds for this. But you're wondering now whether he's going to swap it for an easier way of life. So the countdown then for the end of this round, if they can hear this bell with the din of the crowd and just about. Really working feverishly there in Ali's corner. Undini Brown, the man who invented the float like a butterfly, sting like a bee one. But I'm afraid he's not doing that anymore. Round nine then, scheduled for ten rounds. And really, it looks as though he's dragging a bit of athletic senility around with him now, Ali, at 16-12. Makes an attempt every so often to get up on his toes. Look, as he did there, I wondered if we were going to be treated to the old shuffle and go out like a real old trooper. question about it Ali really transcends sport doesn't he probably the best known face at earth at one time yes it's an improvement on the Ali fight against Holmes that has to be anything must be better than that but still a long way from the great one just prodding that left hand out occasionally turning it into a hook but Burbick just ignoring him. Well, Ali certainly didn't pick himself an easy one for this comeback fight. An uncompromising man. He could have done with a more of a stand-up fighter that he could catch easier. <laughs> Ali's feet almost rooted to the canvas now. That's really where age and experience and shipping a bit of punishment catches up with these heavyweights. there's no doubt about that and Ali saying where are you going at the end of the ninth round so there it is final round and who knows three minutes away from the end of one of the greatest sporting characters we've ever known Muhammad Ali because I would have thought win lose or draw this one he's really got to quit there were many of us and certainly I told him that I wish he'd have done it before to grandstand it to the finish because they come no braver than Ali you can bet on that trying everything he's got in the last round but surely he could never come up with a one-punch finish now
Looks as though Berbick does have a bit of granite in that chin, doesn't it? He really hasn't wobbled at all. But at least Ali is going out to applause, and that he loves. seconds to go but really just punching from memory now Ali nothing left at all and it's just as well that Burbick is not the heaviest of punches but they all hurt when you're over 15 stone and trying them. And Ali at least having the professional pride of not being knocked off his feet, but is he in trouble? No, the bell now would obviously come to his rescue if he went down, but that's unlikely. That's it, it's all over. Burbick throws his hands in the air. Obviously knows he's won, but they're disagreeing in Ali's corner. And knowing Ali as I do, I think he knows that he's lost this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Alonzo Butler votes it 97-94. Judge Clyde Gray votes 99-94. Judge J. Edson votes 99-94. Unanimous decision for Trevor Burbeck. Well, that's it. The Commonwealth champion won as I thought. And goodbye, old friend, it is to Ali. Yes, there could be little doubt, looking at Ali's despondence and fatigue there, that he would disagree with the verdict. Perhaps now he really will leave us with our glowing memories of him. He is reported to have said after the fight, by the way, that he now realizes that Father Time has caught up. And, of course, our commentator was Reg.